Hey everyone, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. In today's video, we're going to do a quick comparison between the Samsung J7 Perks versus the Samsung J7 Refine, both from Boost Mobile. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos more from this channel. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. It's greatly appreciated. Now let's get to the review. Disappointed by reality, time to come back, start something new, build up yourself, it's all to you. Stay strong no matter what they say, you keep getting better every day. Hold your head up, never gonna stop, fears and proud, stand up and shout. Stand my ground. Hey everyone, in today's video we're doing a quick comparison of the J7 Perks versus the J7 Refine. This here is the J7 Perks. It's approximately six inches long by three inches wide by about a third to a half an inch thick, approximately. It does have a removable battery and back plate. The main camera on the back is 8.0 megapixel and the front facing camera for selfies is 5 megapixels as you can see here it's black all the way around this is the J7 Refine as you can see there is a definite color difference this one is silver it is approximately six inches long and three inches wide as well. It is a slight bit thicker, but not a whole lot compared to the perks. Um, unfortunately, this one does not have a removable battery or back plate, but it does have a removable side plate here for your micro SD and SIM card and you have to have a little paper clip or something small in order to open this compartment. It, it also maintained the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and here's some screenshots of the specs for both phones all right as you can see here in this picture the j7 perks features include 5.5 inch hd display 16 gigabyte rom 2 gigabyte ram 3300 ma battery 8 megapixel camera with a 5 megapixel 5 megapixel front facing camera, 2.2 gigahertz octa core processor, Android 7.0 Nougat, Bluetooth, and much more. Boost phone. And then here is the J7 Refine has a 3300 mAh lying on battery. Talk time is approximately 31 hours. A non-removable battery. Memory is two gigabyte RAM, 32 gigabyte memory with support for external micro SD card up to 256 gigabyte. 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor operating on Android 8.0, 13 megapixel rear and front facing camera, 5.5 inch HD TFT touchscreen display. Dimensions are 6.04 inch by 3.00. Connectivity through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB 2.0 and 3.5 millimeter stereo output. 
All right. Now, I've only had the refine now for a few hours. So I don't know a whole lot about it yet other than what I just said in the specs. Um, so I can't give a comprehensive review. I could probably do one of them later if you'd like. Uh, but first impression of the J7 Refine versus the J7 Perks is it's to me a little bit nicer that it is silver compared to black because of being visually impaired it is easier to notice the shiny silver compared to the flat black um the accessibility features on the refine are very similar to the perks but there are a couple differences capabilities on the refine are just a little bit more than that of the perks um it does have bixby which i'm told is a good app which i'll find out more here soon enough about it as i said i've only had it for a few hours um right off the bat i do know one thing that is nice as well is having my perks for the last two years i did purchase a protector and carry case and thankfully the refine fits the same case the buttons don't line up 100% in the exact same spot, but ultimately, if you get used to it being on there, just from using it the little bit that I've had it, it's not hard to know where your button is to turn it on, turn it off, and turn it up and turn it down. Um, However, the downfall to having this case on <clears throat> is the hole in the bottom, or I should say the holes in the bottom, are not 100% lined up for the microphone jack or the speakers on the phone that requires a slight modification to the case if you want to do it that's entirely up to you but myself i do like the fact that this old case fits the new phone just for the mere fact that i don't have to spend another twenty dollars as you've heard that phone has gone off and that is another big benefit comparing the two is I always thought that the J7 Perks out of all of my phones the J7 Perks was most loudest until I received this when I received the, the Refine a few hours ago and I had both of them sitting side by side listening to the exact same thing I noticed a drastic improvement in loudness compared to the perks and that to me is a good thing because well as visually impaired people it's good to have a loud phone that way if you're not close to it you can easily locate it um another big difference too if you'll notice here i'll keep it in the case but underneath my finger here on the perks is the camera and flashlight which you'll notice there is a strip here 
where the case differentiates for the battery to become free and the upper part that is stationary and does not come free and the camera and then you will notice here on the refine that you have your camera and flashlight in the center and there is nothing around it for like a marker like on the perks Um, as I said, I've only had this phone for a few hours. The specs on the battery state that they're pretty much the same. So we will see about that. I have noticed that when I received this phone, it was 100% dead. Most phones I've received in the past have had some kind of a charge. Not a lot necessarily, but some kind. This one was 100% dead, and it did take a little while to charge. Um, once it was charged and got set up to log in and activated, I began the updates, and it went from working on the 8.0 program to now working on the 9 program for Android um, just like the specs for the perks here it says the 7 nougat but if you have one of these or still lucky to have one of these it has updates as well that I do believe push it up to high eights or up into nine i can't remember at this particular moment either way it don't matter because that one is actually going back to boost because as you can see in these pictures here the camera is got a nice little bit of spider webbing going on <laughs> And I'm actually kind of surprised that it lasted this long because it's taken a couple falls and this one just happened to be the one that finally caught up to it and spider webbed the screen a little bit. Thankful for insurance. All right, here's some quick comparison pictures of the J7 Refine versus the Perks. As well as a couple video samples for comparison in quality of video as well as audio. video comparison this is the j7 perks versus the j7 refine this is also the audio comparison can you tell the difference between the j7 perks which is this one here and j7 refine hi everyone welcome to consult Fine guy in today's episode we're doing a review of the j7 perks versus the J7 Refine Samsung phone. Hey right, everybody, thanks for watching Consult Blind Guy. I hope this product review was helpful. Again, 
Stay tuned, I will probably do a more comprehensive review of the J7 Refine as I get a little bit more used to using this phone compared to the perks. Don't forget to check the description below for links to my other channels that I manage as well as channels I recommend for VIPs and the blind as well as content creators. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on the latest videos and more. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know your thoughts of this video. If you have the J7 Refine or the perks, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'd like to know your opinion on the Refine and the perks. See what we both feel about them. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.